so hello guys in this video i will talk about the extent report configurations with your framework so how do you configure the extent report in your framework so that automatic reporting will happen in your framework so to do that what we will do is we'll uh, create one extent manager class first so we will go to the utilities so we'll go to utils in the utils I am going to create one class called extent manager extent manager and click on finish so in this extent manager I'll create one private variable or let's say let, let's make it public public make it a static extent space report okay so go for this extent reports because if you try to recollect in our pom.xml we have already added the dependencies for extent report so if you uh, go here in the pom.xml and if you try to see we already have added the dependency for extent report so we can write now extent report for our framework so go into the extent uh, reports and we can create one reference then we'll create one method called public static extent reports and here the return type is extent reports because uh, we are creating a method which will get the instance of the instance uh, extent report so get instance now here what we will do is we will write if this particular variable is let's say null if it is null then uh, we will create the instance of the extent right else A return extent okay A return the object of the extent so if it is null okay so as of now I will keep here return null because my method is not ready okay so we will keep null now this will create the object for the extent report now we will write one more method A static method called public A static again here the return type will be extent reports so take the same extent reports and you write here create instance create create instance and this requires a file name a string file name okay here we need to create the object of extent HTML reporter so we'll write new extent HTML uh, reporter the second one and supply here file name okay and a store into a reference HTML reporter is equal to this now just place mouse over here and import the local variable so create local variable right now just maximize this so once we have this object created now we can write dot config dot set test uh, set test view chart uh, location okay so write this and you just write chart location 
dot bottom okay that's it now again we can do like this all you know configurations we have to do with the extent report dot config dot set chart visibility on open you make it true okay this all configurations we can do that again you go here dot set theme so we can set a theme it should be capital theme dot standard dot standard okay we are setting the theme and uh, or we can set the the document title so we can write a config dot set document title so we can set the uh, this file name as well as we can set the encoding utf8 the standard character encoding we can do set encoding so a lot of options you have you can do that here you can set utf8 and then you can set the report name also so what is the report name you want to keep you can do that here dot set report name and you can keep here as for time you can keep a file name later we can modify and then you create the object of extent is equal to new extent report extent report and you do then extent dot attach report in this attach report you report this HTML reporter okay and you return extent that's how you should design the create instance so you should return as extent now you can do that if this is uh, if this is null uh, you call this method create instance okay and this guy will take a file name so what we will do we will gen for time being we will generate the extent report in test output folder of the test ng slash extent dot html okay so in the test output folder so uh, what happens when we run the test we will get a test output folder so let me show you if you look at here in this ui framework we get a test output so in that we can generate one extent dot html so our extent manager is ready now okay uh, here we don't uh, need much coding here so we just have extent uh, reporter ready now here we have a document title report name you can give a report name also actually you can give a report name saying that automations report automations report this is also fine right so now our extent manager is ready uh, we have the configurations also now uh, actually we can start working on the test base so in next video i will talk about how uh, you can work on the test base so that you know we need to now make our test base ready so that we can start with the page object design right thank you guys thank you for watching this